Ronnie, it feels like we haven't seen you for a very long time. Hamstring injuries have kept you out of the side, but you were so close a couple of weeks ago and then a late withdrawal. Can you just give us an update as to where things are at? I was out for 11 weeks. I was out for a while, but that allowed me to really bank some load and really build some consistency in my training. And at the moment, I feel pretty good. I feel really great. I feel strong, I feel fast, and I feel fit. So I'm hoping to push my case. But as you said, a couple of weeks ago, I was nearly back and then uh, late withdrawal. So pretty frustrating, but... Um, you just got to listen to your body and uh, hopefully I'll be right this weekend. you got to make those calls based on what's best for the team, obviously, and you just weren't quite feeling right after a bit of warm-up in the rooms. Yeah, I just didn't quite recover as well as I hoped, so um, wasn't wasn't clean at the game, and then if you're not clean, there's no point really testing it. How was that conversation? You know, it's a late call. It's obviously it throws things into a bit of uh, disarray, I suppose, for the coaches and the team. Um, how was that conversation? Oh, it sucked, to be honest. Um, Brady came in and ultimately he made the decision, just took it out of my hands. He spoke with the physios and that was probably the right call. I missed, And then I came back and played two VFL games and I feel really good now. So it's probably the right decision in hindsight. And as we know, like AFL football these days, it's, it's so unpredictable and we find ourselves now in Queensland and you'd be obviously pushing for your case for this weekend and the weeks to come, even if we stay up here or go back to Melbourne doesn't really change for us I don't think I think we came up here to do a job and we try and keep our schedule pretty similar to Melbourne we'll just come up here and keep doing what we're doing we've been playing good footy and we're hoping to build on that oh we hope to see you back in soon me too